Morning everybody, uh, it's David with Poe Run. Today I'm going to be um, setting grade on my lower wall posts. Um, and I just need to stand those up, shoot a laser line, measure just like I did before. And then I'm going to start hauling over my um, uh, floor joists for the uh, section that I've already completed and got my, bar uh, my beam in place. If you missed that part, watch the previous video. Um, but anyway, stick around. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts or comments, please put them down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you like the content that we're producing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I would love it. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've been recording simply because with the building I've been doing a bunch of random stuff um, trying to figure out you know getting the building square where I made some mistakes etc and so I want to go over some of those mistakes and how I'm going to be correcting them or how I did correct them one of which is my beam is kind of off um, before we do that I'm going to roll on my joys put in the ridge board and find out some more problems so you're gonna watch that first and then we're gonna talk about the problems that i've been facing things that i'm gonna correct today and how i'm gonna move forward Um, been working on the building again, obviously, and I have yesterday I rolled all my joists, and uh, as you can see, I've also got my ridge board in, rim board, sorry, not ridge board, rim board in, which is this one here. Uh, it's a little crooked. Turns out that this wall was pulled to the from your left to right um, because of the center wall for the support. So I'm going to fix that right now and get everybody straightened up again. So stay tuned. All right. You can see my string line. We're off by 
probably an inch or so bows in just right here not a big deal I've loosened all these supports I'm going to check everything for plumb on the far side make sure these guys are all still plumb the ends are still tied so it's only these three centers that I've loosened or undone I guess is a better way to put it so I can move this whole wall out potentially and get it to be straight again so we're just off by a little bit not a big deal good to fix now So the other day a friend of mine came by and uh, he's actually in construction. He uh, or used to be in construction a very long time ago and he always wants to see what's going on with the building and where I'm at and you can see me a little bit better um, and had some, uh, 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 you know, questions about like why I did certain things, etc. And when I was looking at my beam, I realized that I have a real problem. Um, that must be corrected or, you know, option two, which is not what I'm going to do is hope it'll be okay. And I can't hope it's going to be okay because if it, if it, if it fails, I'm going to have some real problems. So let me show you what's going on. Um, as you guys saw in the previous video, we made this four ply beam, right? And I had some random links that I chose prior to doing all the, um, math on laying up the four ply and I probably should have bought slightly different links. I didn't buy different links and lumber prices as everybody knows fluctuates madly, but you know, a, a two by 10 by 16, um, that I paid about, you know, 12 or $14 for or something is now $35 I think. So I can't go logically and buy new boards because they're so expensive. So I need to make made this beam out of what I had. And I mentioned that earlier. One of the things for code when you're doing a built up beam is to make sure that if you do have a seam, uh, which I will refer to as a seam, but basically where you have, you know, two boards coming together, this is not a problem. That's totally fine. But the important thing is that you cannot, according to code, have seams on every ply in the same span. So you can see here, I only have one seam in this entire span, all right? And this is only eight feet, so it's not very long, but I have one seam there. There's times that I might have two seams. And again, that's not a big deal. So um, down here, let's see, you know, and I was trying to do this math pretty well, but I do have two seams here. And when I was doing this one, I wasn't noticing this. I wouldn't have done this normally. That's not ideal to me. But I do have four more than four foot of um, overhang from ply to ply. So it's okay. This span is actually a little less than eight feet. But, um, you know, I wouldn't have done that. But it was too late by the time I did do it. Here's the problem. 
when I had originally put this beam in, if you remember from the previous video, it was down that way more than a foot. So I had to slide it back our direction. And what happened was that it moved this seam, this double seam here, which used to be on this side, moved it to the other side. So now I have these two seams, which generally speaking is not a big deal. But then I also didn't notice that I have this seam and I have a four seam down here. That's not good because now I have a seam for every ply in one span. So this is just one single span and I've got four seams. I really wish I had noticed this problem as well. I cannot fix it. This is only about a two foot um, overlap between these, but you know, it is what it is now and it's done. I can't take this apart. So when I build the next beam down on my lower posts, um, I will keep that in mind and make sure the seam is actually at least a four footer. That being the case, what I need to do to correct the problem, which is actually relatively easy, I'm just gonna slide this seam down a few inches so that it's gonna be on top of this post. Um, I don't have enough to move it way back, uh, which would also potentially work, but then I would have you know, three seams in this section and then I would have one seam over here, two seams, so I kind of don't want to do that. I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle or over this post, and that's going to solve the issue of um, having four seams. I'm referring to them as seams. They're butt joints, basically, but, you know, four in one span, and again, that's bad. Good news is that the other day when I was doing all my math or squaring up the building, making sure all my columns were straight, and then where all my floor joists are going to hit, um, I did a, a little bit of screwing on some of these, but these are not permanently attached to the beam because I wasn't sure um, if I was going to have to change anything or how it was going to look, etc. cetera. Um, and so... Thankfully, I didn't. So now all I need to do is undo a couple of screws. And after I do undo the screws on the beam, uh, the floor joist of the beam, I can put on my ratchet straps like I did before in the previous video. And I'm just going to slide it down a little bit. So that's one of the things I'm going to do today. Pretty straightforward, not a big deal. Um, another thing that I discovered is that... Uh, which you saw earlier, I realized that this wall was a little crooked. It was pushed, uh, or I'm sorry, it was pulled towards us uh, about an inch or so. And most of that was tension over here on this middle column or in this middle wall. And the middle wall, to make it straight, I had put too much tension on the other wall and thus it pulled it forward. So I undid all the boards. And if you notice, I don't have the 2x12s running across here bracing everything anymore. Um, but I did have to go through, after I undid all that, I did have to go through and just make sure everything was all square. I put bracing in at the corners, etc., cetera, um, so that I can make sure that this wall is now dead plumb as opposed to before, which was uh, okay at best. So um, this is now dead plumb, and that's good, and everything's going to be referenced over from there. The third thing that I've already done, which is not a problem, but did take a little bit of time, is I did set my columns on my lowest wall. You guys saw a little bit of that earlier because I set grade on them. Um, I did finally cut them off. Um, other than that, those are the major problems that I had. Um, and they need to be, you know, th this wall has now been corrected, so that's good. This beam is going to move down, which will also be good. And then I'm just going to cut it off like I was planning on doing. I have, as you can see here, I've got several inches of overhang. It's not a big deal. So that's why I can't move it down, you know, a foot or something. But I can move it down several inches. So this is going to get trimmed off. I'll trim off the other end when I know where that's going to be. And we'll be good to go. Um... And I think that's about it. So like I said, I squared up the building, squared up my walls, got everything plumb, and realized that I had a major mistake in this one section where I have all four plies have a butt joint or seam um, in this one span, and that's not good. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm glad you guys are watching our videos. Do appreciate it very much. It's been fun sharing this project with you, and you guys have a absolutely wonderful day. Talk to you soon.